What's up guys and girls, my name is Player6 and I am a content creator for Team Kinetic. I'm going to be showing some tips and tricks to help climb out of lower ranks like bronze, iron, silver, gold even. And this could even help maybe some platinum players get into diamond. The first thing I'm going to be talking about how to find your sensitivity that you are comfortable with. Now what you want to do is put your mouse in the center of your mouse pad. You want to swipe all the way to the right what it should do is give you a 180 more than that isn't really necessary once you find the sense for that where you're in the center of your mouse pad and you swipe right get a 180 just get comfortable with it do some little practices here and there valorant has a amazing firing range and all types of modes you can do and you want to do this every time you get on you always want to warm up you never want to go into rank after coming home from work you haven't played on your pc all day and you're just going into rank cold you always want to warm up help you be more consistent in your rank games and maximize your efficiency i can't talk don't know english i swear once you've found your sensitivity next thing i want to kind of bring up i see a lot of people in lower ranks a lot of them come from br backgrounds like battle royales fortnite apex all that their crosshairs are always low and this game is a one shot headshot for a gun like a vandal headshots are very important in this game you're gonna want to adjust your crosshair to headshot level when you're walking around everywhere valorant does a really good job in map design on giving you lines on what headshots will be one i can give you right now is like right here this line in between these boxes this would be a headshot every time unless they're crouched of course but if you're just standing peek the corner shoot that's a headshot another thing i want to talk about a lot of people spray a lot which i get the problem with spraying in this game is that your bullets go above your crosshair you see how this makes like a the number seven you pretty much want to do a mouse movement of the seven backwards the opposite of the seven so it goes up and then to the left, which means you want to pull down and to the right with your mouse. And then you get a pretty good base of bullets in one area. I say get the first five to ten bullets. I wouldn't really spray any more than that as, unless they're really close to you. If you're at long range, you do want to tap fire as it will first bullet accuracy for you. Um, every time you shoot as long as you're not moving and you don't tap too fast because then it'll think you will be spraying the gun try them out try them out on the on the drones either gun you prefer phantom i will tell you is easier to spray with over the vandal the vandal is not much spraying is used unless you're close or you've kind of mastered the basis of the vandal spray pattern you don't have to pull down and move as much with a phantom plus you have 30 bullets which is five more than the vandal so you have more spraying power mix up some movement use that counter strafing i was talking about earlier you're not always going to be standing still just aiming around in the in a 180 360 you gotta move around the map you gotta get on site when you're attacking or trying to retake a site after they plan want to work on your first bullet accuracy work on your counter strafing how to counter strafe when you're moving right when you let go of your d key there is a slight movement still that it takes it's not an instant stop so what you want to do to make it stop instantly is just when you get to let go of the D key hit the opposite direction which would be a key to make you instantly stop and be able to have first bullet accuracy you do this so you can constantly keep moving and have first bullet accuracy when you're tapping the gun you never want to spray at long range trying to just tap at a guy to either give some warning shots or you're just trying to take him out tap his head want to get as many shots as you can without standing still for him to just line up a shot but like i said say you're going left you're holding the a key when you go to let go or you want to stop simply tap the opposite direction which would be the d key 
you will instantly stop and have that first bullet accuracy and that should help you guys a lot longer range fights or when you're rushing a site and there's say someone holding an angle and you just need to quickly get a shot off last thing i'm going to talk about today is the how to clear angles when you're walking around the map this does require some map knowledge but the more you play you should develop a good sense of angles are played like common angles going back to that headshot level you always want to have that no matter where you go it could change on height elevation uh, so on and so forth going around a corner you always want to try to keep your crosshair close to the edge of the wall that you're going around or doorway you're going through just have it close to whatever angle you're trying to peek say someone's sitting right here in this corner you just want to casually keep your crosshair as tight to the wall as you can just to clear that angle and keep walking if no one's there or kill him if he is there now say you do know he is there a guy's just sitting in the corner and you know a guy's there you know no one else is anywhere around it's just him in that corner just say like a 1v1 matchup and you gotta kill him to win the round just go ahead and line it up no need to keep your crosshair over here if he's gonna be over here go ahead and line up the headshot angle and peek around the corner maybe there is some instances where you think he's there but you're not sure what you can always do is jiggle peek it which is just a quick little peek and then back up say he is there when you jiggle peek it you don't want to stay there too long so when you jiggle you always want to go back called jiggle peek for a reason it's not peeking and then shooting or peeking and see if he's there and then shooting jiggle it you see he's there and then you want to wide swing you don't want to just go tight again because his crosshair is already going to be there and close to the wall you want to jiggle it and then wide swing and then headshot him you know he's there he's just waiting on you to peek again because he thinks you're going to peek close like I said, just jiggle him and then wide swing and kill him and use a counter strafe when you go to go to shoot. So right before you shoot, just counter strafe, shoot. You don't have to go all the way to the wall. That's kind of a bit much. Just don't be too close to the wall because you want him to make as much movement as he can of a possibility of him missing. So wide swing to about, say, a couple feet out from the corner counter straight you won the round and that's all i got for you guys today i hope these tips and tricks helped you out at least a little bit if not just roast me down in the comments and i'll I, i'll be reading them for sure i'll probably reply to a few and if you guys want more you guys can also comment down below maybe add me on twitter dm me come to my twitch channel my links will be in the description and everything for you guys i hope you guys have a good night